Hello everyone, uh, my name is Slava, I'm from Manil Games and uh, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create a simple space shooter game uh, in less than one hour. I'm using Game Seller for this and uh, it'll be a fully com completed game. Uh, you'll be able to find it uh, in the App Store and download it and play it on your iPhone. So uh, first let me just show you the final results. Uh, okay, what we're gonna have here. Okay, the game is called Big Spider. Okay. okay, so you can fly left and right, you can shoot, and here come aliens. Uh, it's hard to play on the computer. Yeah, so you see, it's working, and now I'm destroyed. And you see him on the side. Okay, you tap, and you can start again. That's the final result. So. Initially, I have uh, imported uh, 23 objects, not that much actually. Uh, C23 actors, uh, and uh, we'll have just four scenes in this game and uh, five attributes. Yeah, basically that's it. So let's kick off. Uh, first scenes, we go to initial scene. I'm gonna change the scene side because I don't like to work uh, on a small screen. Um, we go to attributes, uh, size. We set it to uh, 640 to uh, 1136, which is a standard resolution for iPhone 5 and 5S. We also need to change the size of the camera to 640 and 1136. Okay, so now we have a larger screen. This is initial scene. I'm gonna copy it. I'm pressing uh, Command C, Command V. Uh, this will be main scene. Uh, I paste it again, uh, and uh, this would be pause scene, and another one which will be final scene. So the logic here is the following: when we start, we go to initial scene, we pr we tap the screen, we start playing, we go to main screen, we play in the main screen. If we need to pause the game, we press pause button. We go to final scene, and then resume game, and if we lose, we go to final scene where we can see our score and best score. Okay, let's start with the initial scene. I have an object, it's just a big image, big spider. I'm gonna put it exactly in the middle, so the position will be 320 to 568. And uh, the key, key target for this object will be just to change the scene to the next one. Basically that's it. So when actor receives it when uh, touch is pressed uh, change scene to main scene. That's it. Let's see how it works. Okay go, big spider tap. Yeah we go to the next scene. Okay. Uh, looks like it's working. Let's go to the main scene. So on the main scene we need to set up the player's control or uh, the player itself, this small ship. We need to set up enemies and um, to create a simulation of movement. Uh, I mean, this wide falling stars. Uh, let's start with the control. Uh, I have three control buttons, left, right, and shoot. Okay, one, two, and three. I'm gonna put it, you know, exactly so. You know, so they exactly fit the size of the screen. Uh, you see, the size of this uh, object is uh, 210 to 210. But basically, I need to put it uh, this object right in the middle, uh, in the left uh, bottom corner of the screen. For this object, I also have Y coordinates in 105 and. Uh, 105 plus 210, this will be 315. Okay, yeah, looks good. And for shooting button, we should have 535 and 105. Okay, uh, looks beautiful. Uh, now let's set up the behaviors for these buttons. Uh, for that, I need to create uh, three attributes. They all will be boolean. Uh, that means that uh, they have only two values, uh, either it's true or false. So I'll create one attribute, 
second attribute and the third attribute. This will be called move left, left, said, uh, move left, uh, move right, and shoot. Well, I think you, you probably know why I created those. So uh, let's set up left button. We create rule. When actor receives a man, ma touch is pressed, uh, we change attribute, game, move left to true. And also let's, uh, let's set up animation for this button. We put animate behavior, oh no, sorry, not animate, we put change image. Uh, change image behavior. Um, I have, as I said, I have uh, 23 objects, but I also said I have additional images. Uh, all of those are just for animation. So you see, I have a left button and I have left button pressed. So now I'm um, uh, putting in left button pressed. And otherwise, when the button is not pressed, I copy these two. Game, we change the attribute game move left to false. And we change image back to left button. Let's see how it works. See? It's working. Okay, so now we have to do uh, pretty much the same for the right button. Actor received event touch is pressed. Behaviors change attribute. Game uh, move right to true. Back to true. Yes, and change image. Right button pressed. Again, I copy this too, paste it here. So when the button is not pressed, false. When the button is not pressed, uh, we change the attribute. We move right to false, and we change image back to right button. Okay. So now we have two working buttons. Great. And uh, shot button. Pretty much the same. Touch is pressed. We change attribute. Game to true. So you, you may ask why do we need this? We need this to control the ship because using this change attribute commands we will actually change behavior of the main ship okay uh, we change the image to shoot pressed shoot button pressed okay copy that game shoot button false okay and shoot button okay now I have all three buttons working, but they do nothing. So let's go to ship object. Let's just put it here, somewhere in the middle. And uh, uh, okay, let's start uh, making its behavior. So we create rule. Let's call it rule. Move left. When attribute gain move left is true we move the ship left behavior move direction to the left 180 degrees let's speed 300 it's okay let's see what happens so I press left it moves left and BAM it disappears in order to avoid this disappearance we're gonna add uh, another condition which will be attribute a ship position x is higher than um, you see the size of the ship is 75 to uh, 55 52.5 so we need to, you know in order to uh, avoid disappearance of the ship uh, we should um, we should limit is uh, movement for 
you know, exactly this metal. Um, it's hard to explain, so I, I'm gonna show you. So the half uh, 75 is uh, 37.5. Put here 7.5. 7 okay. So if his coordinates is higher than x coordinate is higher than 37.5, which is here in the middle, uh, and game of left is true, uh, the actor will actually move. Yeah, see, it's tough. So uh, now let's create rules for moving right and shooting. Attribute game move right is true and attribute ship position x is uh, less than 602.5, I think. Yes, that's correct. That's 640 minus 37.5. We move the ship to the right with the speed we have it. That's okay. Let's check how it works. It's working. Now, in order to create a shooting behavior, first we need to handle the behavior of, uh, of the bullet, ship bullet. And its behavior is quite simple. It should always move up, which is 90 degrees, and with speed 300, it's, it's probably okay. Uh, uh, I, I, um, uh, I've done this because otherwise, if you when when you will shoot, you will just you know uh, spawn this bullet, but they will stand still and do nothing. And now, when I create a uh, behavior for okay, index is rule, move right. And now, when I create a behavior for shooting, no, not like this. Yeah. Attribute game shoot is true. The ship should spawn actor. Uh, ship bullet. Where is it? Ship bullet. Come on, ship bullet. In front of actor, relative to actor, relative to actor, and see what happens. Pew pew pew. Uh, the problem now here is that uh, the ship shoots from the middle, which doesn't look good. So we make a simple adjustment. So its height is uh, 52.5. Let's put here 25. So uh, the bullet will be actually spawned not from here, but somewhere from here, and it looks much better. Okay, so we have a behavior for the ship. Now um, let's create um, an illusion of movement. For this, we need, you know, uh, the kind of falling stars which constantly appear from the top, goes down, and it creates, you know, an impression that we are actually moving. Here is an actor. It, it's a simple empty actor. Uh, I call it spawner. Spawner. I don't know. Um, the position should be exactly in the middle, and the Y position not that important. Uh, the thing it uh, the actor should be uh, above the screen, so we, we shouldn't see this actor. And this actor will uh, spawn stars, which is also in just uh, in just an empty white square. Seven point five to seven point five. Um, but in order not just to spawn stars, because if we just create stars, it will appear here and we'll never see them. So in order, in order for us to see them, the star should move down constantly. So the general rule for the star is create rule. Uh, no, sorry, not create rule, just a simple move. Move down to understanding. And that's it. Um, and look now how we will handle spawner. We'll use timer behavior. Every 0 0.1 second run to completion, spawn actor star. But um, if we leave it like this, uh, you see, this is what's gonna happen. And that looks pretty stupid. So, in order to avoid it, we just have to set the position as uh, 
random from minus 300 to 0 and, uh, and I'm going to explain wh why exactly from minus 300 to 0 you see um, the spawner spawn starts just from the middle so now uh, with this behavior the stars will fall from this part but I want more stars I just don't want uh, one star every 0 0.5 seconds so I copy this and every 0 0.5 seconds the star will also fall from the right part and here here's how I'm going to do it I'm saying 0 to 300 okay and let's see how it's working and it's working and um, well it's not some you know super awesome animation but nevertheless uh, it's okay I guess um, you see uh, there's a small problem here that the stars uh, go above the ship you can fix that uh, that uh, very simple uh, you go to main scene scene layers and on the background um, you just set uh, set the order of uh, objects so you put spawner below and basically that's it and the stars will go below the ship and below uh, buttons okay now we have illusion of movement actually I'm gonna increase the pace I, I mean we're in space we should you know fly faster yeah that's much better uh, okay so now we need uh, we need enemies we need enemies I have uh, two types of enemies these are uh, aliens and I also have stones um, the difference between these uh, aliens and stones is that you can destroy a aliens and aliens can destroy you but you can't destroy stone but the stone can destroy you and um, let's uh, let's make a quick um, y you know uh, comfortable thing for us uh, let's create uh, a group of object which is called enemies and in this group I'll put stone one stone two alien one big alien and alien bullet I'm doing this because um, you know I don't want to uh, set a destruction rule for my ship for every single object so I'm gonna just set it for, um, for for this group of objects. So if any of this object touches my ship, my ship will be destroyed. Uh, but first, I will come to that later. Uh, let's first create these enemies. I have another spawner. Let's put it here. Um, okay, I can't reach it spawner and uh, the position is exactly in the middle and the logic is pretty, si pretty similar as uh, in the previous spawner so basically every second or every two seconds we need to spawn an alien uh, but um, I'm gonna make a small adjustment first uh, I'm gonna put timer and uh, the behavior will be after one second after the beginning of the scene will start spawning um, uh, aliens I'm doing this because you know uh, this if when, when you see the screen started and uh, you, you know you just want to try control and uh, if I will not do this after one second the enemy will just uh, start to appear and you won't just ha have time to test your controls and they kind of stop so every uh, random every two to four seconds spawn actor um, small alien where's small alien um, okay sorry alien ends alien one okay uh, and spawn the sector from again random from here to here from all these coordinates this will mean that spawn actor from 300 minus 300 so minus 300 is from here to here and plus 300 it's from this side 
Again, nothing gonna happen because I haven't set up the movement of the alien. It's actually pretty simple. Uh, it's the same as for snow. Move down to 170, exactly down at the speed 300. Okay, and I'm also planning to set up animation for an animal because this way it looks you know, a bit funnier. I go to my images, I, I go to animate behavior. Um, or yeah, here it is. Uh, this is a sequence of images. I'm leaving loop and uh, remove and restore uh, image when done. And let's see what's gonna happen. Um, so one second and go. Yes. You see, it's like it's like he's moving. And, uh, and again, it flies uh, above my controls, and actually nothing will happen when, when, we, you know, when we collide. Okay, so, again, just in order to make the game a bit better, let's move second spawner above the first one. So the first one spawns, um, uh, spawns stars, the second one spawns uh, aliens. Okay, um, let's deal with the second alien. Um, no, not this one, uh, the blue one. I copy this, after one second, every random, let's say, three to five seconds, so, you know, so the animals do not appear very often, although you can, you can change that. Uh, spawn alien, big alien, Again, random minus 300 plus 300. And uh, now let's handle big alien behavior. It's pretty much the same. I just want big alien to move a bit faster. So the direction is 270, 270. And speed is 400. Okay. Uh -huh. So I'm flying and... Uh, Alien starting to appear randomly. Okay, but now I can do anything because nothing will happen. So uh, now I need to set up uh, destruction behavior, I guess. Yes, for that I'm gonna create another group of factors. Uh, not create, I'm gonna, you know, just put them together. I'll call it ship stuff. In this group, I'll include ship itself and ship bot. I'm going to scene. Where is it? Alien. So let's set up destruction rule. Create rule. Actor receives event, overlaps or collides with actor, not with actor of type, but actor with tag. Ship stop. So, so if this actor collides either with ship or with bullet, it should be destroyed. But first, before the destruction, it should spawn a beautiful explosion, which is uh, explosion one. Where is it? Alien uh, explosion one. And after that, it should be destroyed. Um, <laughs> destroyed. So now it looks what's gonna happen. Now I'm. Um, now I need to destroy one. No, not this one. This one. This one is good. See, this is explosion. So now we need to handle the behavior of this explosion. First, we need to animate it to make it look beautiful. Um, I just have three images. It's really simple animation. Yes, and uh, we set speed uh, at six frames per second. So this th these three frames uh, will be played within uh, just half a second so I put timer here and after 0 0.5 seconds the object should be destroyed go okay now I need to destroy one where are you okay perfect bam and it's destroyed you see so uh, let's make 
of pretty much the same things for uh, for the big alien. We animate it. By the way, we don't need this. Takes here. Uh, I mean, I need to loop it to restore our image. Uh, uh, so I'm putting um, the animation here. As you can see, animation is really simple. I'm not really good at drawing. So, and the second behavior is timer. Timer up to 0 0.5 seconds. Destroy. Okay, now we can destroy aliens, but aliens cannot destroy us. Where are you? Bang, 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 destroyed, and... Okay, where's, where, where's the big one? Yeah, here we are. Oh, actually no, I forgot to set a collision rule, so... I'm sorry for that, so uh, I created animation for an explosion, but... Now, we go to big alien, create rule, actor receive events, uh, overlaps or collides with actor with tag, ship stop. Uh, it should be destroyed. Uh, uh, first, it should spawn uh, an explosion, spawn actor, big explosion, although it's not really big, and uh, destroy. Now it should work. As you can see, the aliens also can be destroyed uh, when colliding with ship. But um, I'm gonna set up the behavior so when uh, the alien collides with ship, uh, both uh, the ship will be destroyed and uh, the alien will be destroyed. But nevertheless, it'll be game over. So let's uh, handle the destruction of the ship first. Let's handle the animation of ship explosion because this one, well, looks much better than explosion of aliens. So I'll have four images here. Um, one, two, three, four, four. Yes, it's a sequence of images. Don't loop, don't restore. And just destroy this actor up to 0 0.5 seconds. 0 0.5 seconds. Um, destroy my position. Mm, destroy. Um, no, no, no. First, I, I need to handle ship's, ship's destruction. So, this rule was for shooting. And the next rule will be for destruction. So when actor receives a event, overlaps or collides with actor with tag enemies with any of these objects. And enemies, just just to remind you, includes both stones, both aliens and alien bullets. Actually, I'm gonna set up an input and uh, aliens shooting just in a minute. So when actor receives this event, um, it spawn actor. Ship explosion, ship explosion, where is it? Ship explosion, and it should be destroyed. Okay. Where are you guys? Come on. So, we're colliding with the alien. For some reason, we're not destroyed. How oh, nice. This is weird. Um, I'm gonna check this enemies group. Alien, big alien, alien bullet, enemies group. Love surprise. Okay, that should actually work. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong. Why it's not working? So let's check it again. Boom! I'm not destroyed. Destruction rule. Actor with tag enemies. What's wrong with you? Spawn actor. Ship explosion. Destroy the actor. Uh. Just a second, I'm gonna check my final final file. Ship explosion, play sound. Maybe it's not that sound. 
capture enemies and uh, enemies and these guys. This is really weird. So rule destruction, capture series events, or lost a card, text or attack, enemies and enemies are these guys. This should be destroyed. I don't know what's wrong with it. Uh, come on. <sighs> no, no, um, I probably have to restart game cells. Okay, so I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna quit it. And let's restart it. This is really strange. I've never had this before. Uh, Version 2. Okay, let's see if it works now. Come on, touch me. And I'm not destroyed. This is really just ridiculous. Let's check this one. Overlast, Alkalax, Actor of Type. Um, let's say. Um, let's say Alien 1. Alien 1. Okay, we're fine. Mm -hmm. And then one comes, nothing happens. Um, indestructible. I don't know what is wrong with it. Just a second. Okay, I'm back. I um, um, actually found the problem. We need to go to scene layers and put ship here. I don't know why it happened. But if we check it now, it should work. Come on, alien comes at me and boom, I'm destroyed. See, it's working. I don't know what happened. So, um, as I promised, let's uh, also add the shooting group for the animal or for the alien. Here is a uh, alien bullet. It should always go down, move down. 270 at speed 350, just slightly faster than the alien itself, and uh, the alien will spawn. Uh, will spawn this bullet. I don't know every one, one two seconds. I guess every random one to two seconds. Spawn actor Alien boy. Okay, let's see how it works. Now we're flying, we're shooting. Yeah, but for some reason, this again, what's wrong with you? Why Alien can't kill me and the bullet can't? I don't know. Okay, Alien bullet. work oh yeah I forgot that I changed the root destruction rule to destruction on collision with alien 1 but instead I should destruction on, on collision uh, with actor with tag enemies let's check once again what's happening now so um, you destroy one yes yes and boom Yes, so everything is working. Now let's um, uh, let's handle uh, handle uh, I don't know uh, stones behavior. It's pretty simple. Um, same as for snow timer. Uh, sorry, after one second spawn. Not spawn. Sorry, sorry, sorry. This is this is not for him. This is for the spawner. For him, we should just set move uh, down 170, and the speed will be 350. Uh, for, for for the smaller stone, no, this one is bigger. We set we'll set slightly different speed 120. Okay, uh, we go to spawner objects and um, uh, add timer after one second timer every 
random two to three seconds spawn actor stone one position again random as it random minus 300 300 plus 300 okay again we copy this behavior paste it down okay let's just make some cleanup up to one second every random let's say uh, four to five seconds spawn after stone two we need the stones in order to make the game more complicated uh, so the ship cannot destroy the stones but stones can destroy our ship okay that should work uh, basically uh, the gameplay is ready so we're fine for shooting I don't know we just uh, the gameplay is ready and uh, now we need to handle uh, well let's first handle game over uh, let's go to ship so when the ship is destroyed and it collides with uh, actor with tag enemies it spawns extra explosion and it is destroyed and uh, let's set a timer after one second change scene to final do not enable it um, okay let's see how it works so we're flying uh, here comes the stone boom one second and nothing happens you know why because the object is destroyed and only after that we set the timer behavior what I'm gonna do here is that I'm not gonna destroy the ship I'm gonna change its attribute uh, ship uh, motion no, no graphics visible to false so now when the ship is destroyed, you just will not see it, and uh, after one second, the scene will change to final. Okay, okay, okay. So we're flying. Uh, we have stone coming, and boom, ship is destroyed. One second, and come on, change scene. Change the scene. Oh my God, what's wrong with you? Stone after our timer. After one second, change scene to final. I guess we just put we put run to completion here. Okay. Let's test it again. Here is boom. One second. Yes, we're in final scene. Okay, let's go to final scene. In the final scene, I just said one object. Here it is. We put it right in the middle. Position 320, 568. Um it has score and best text here, so uh, oh yeah, it will have a simple behavior, not not this one, uh, this one. Create rule. Have to receive the event. Touch is pressed. Change scene to initial scene. So when the game is over and you see your final score, your best score, you then then just tap this button. And you go to initial scene and start all over. Now let's uh, let's add pause, pause button. We just set it here. Okay, and uh, the rule is pretty simple. When actor receives event, touch is pressed. Just pause. Where is it? Pause game. Pause game. Pause game behavior. Pause. Pause game. That's it. And go to pause scene. Let's go to pause scene. Now it's empty. We just add two buttons: menu and resume. Okay, resume, resume of this. Yeah. Uh, when you click, when you tap menu, you should return to the initial scene. So on touch is pressed. We will use reset game behavior. For resume. We'll use actor receives when touch is pressed um, on pause game. Let's test it. So, pause, 
resume we continue playing I play fluid menu we go to again to main menu uh, to main screen and then we can play again uh, now we need to handle scoring system uh, let's go to main scene put score sign here oh it's it's too big too big let's change the size to 150 and uh, 30 okay score sign should be here and also I have uh, an empty object score text see it's empty it's just a just an empty white object I put it here um, okay and its behavior is pretty simple it just should show the score but first I need to create score attributes I create two attributes actually integer and uh, the second one will also be integer and this will be current score and best score that's it we're done with attribute for this game so we go to score text object and we put display text behavior and it will be guess what current score yes current score um, let use Futura and the color will be orange and we also have now have to remove the color from this object we put opacity to zero see looks beautiful but now the scoring system itself uh, how we can get these scores of course we get scores when we destroy our enemies so we'll have two points for this alien three points for this one and one point uh, for destruction of the bullet I forgot to create the destruction for the bullet actually receives events or collapse or collides with actor with tag ship stop it should simply be destroyed destroy okay here we go let's go to alien uh, let's open his destruction rule so when it's destroyed change attribute current attribute uh, no not constraint sorry change attribute my mistake change attribute game current score to game current score uh, plus two I copy this behavior and I go to big alien I paste this game current score to game current score plus three and then I go to bullet. I paste this behavior again and gain current score plus one. And let's see what's gonna happen. So I'm fine. I'm shooting. Come on, where are you? Yes. And I'm destroyed. Oh, so I have only three points because it's really hard to play this game on computer. You need a phone for this. And uh, on final screen, I actually should also display my scores. So um, I'm putting this object here. Come on, what's wrong with you? Ah, come on, park. Oh yeah, it's it's invisible. So I dragged like I don't know five of those. That was a mistake. It's my mistake, sorry. So let's put it here. See, it's invisible, that's why I can make it. Uh, it will be slightly bigger. Okay, double click. I unlock its behavior. The size will be 50, and yes, it will display current score. Um, I also need to add the score object here um, I'm increasing the size double click click to unlock and here um, I'm gonna put game best score okay size 50. 50 so now when I play I hope I get some scores no, no, not like this Okay, I have four points, not because I destroyed uh, 
these enemies uh, with bullets, but because they collapsed into my ship, and but nevertheless they were destroyed, so I get four scores. But see, best score is zero. That's incorrect. So in order to fix this, we go to ship. Um, you see, um, ooh, destruction. You see timer here. Change thing to final. And uh, we will add create rule behavior. Uh, we not behavior, we just create rule. So after one second, if attribute gain current score is higher or equal, let's say higher or equal, it's, you can just put higher, then game best score, then change attribute, then best score becomes current score and we also handle saving of uh, our best scores so we put save attribute we put save attribute attribute game best score to key best okay so now we're flying we're shooting but it's coming, no, here, some aliens. I, I just I just want to, yes, no, no. I just want to kill at least one, you know. Come on, where are you? Just appear here. Yes, I destroyed one, so now I can destroy myself. Five, score, five, best, okay. Now, you see the problem is I restarted the game, but my score is still five. In order to fix it, we go to initial scene and we change this uh, object. Uh, on actor receives event touch is pressed. We also change attribute on game current score to zero, and that's it. We have our scoring system. Basically, our uh, the only thing left to do is, uh, I think it's music, this, see, I have 6 points, now I'm destroyed at 9 points, best score 9, let's go again, score is 0, because I set the correct behavior for this, damn it, come on, it's too complicated. Six points. I need a couple, a couple points more, just you know, just to show you. Oh, I see one problem. You see, when the bullet hits the enemy, if it goes further, yeah, that's that's not correct. It should be destroyed. See, the score is now 15. Before that, I had five. So the scoring system is working. And again, if I start again, the score is zero. Uh, let's go to bullet. And create destruction rule. When actor receives event overlaps or collides with actor of type, the tag enemies, it shall be destroyed. Okay, we're done here. Now let's quickly just add music. So I uh, I have imported uh, three sounds, which is explosion, ship explosion, and uh, start music and music and the sound of laser. It should be really simple. So I go to this Pix Fighter tab object and I simply add behavior play music. Play start music, loop it, but when uh, this object is tapped, you should stop playing music because it's annoying. So I put the behavior stop music here. Yes, I'm playing music here. And uh, see, no music. Okay, now um, let's insert sounds. Um, uh, this should be handled using buttons. So, when this button is pressed, you should play sound. Uh, laser bus. What a weird name for the laser. Okay, it's a laser bus, and hear how it sounds. Let's also handle uh, destruction sounds, so ship destruction, rule destruction, so ship explosion from the factor. We also 
play sound ship explosion okay and for these guys destruction rule so when after a series of events when, when it's destroyed play sound uh, where is it ship explosion laser burst ah, explosion laser I copy this behavior and um, put it for this one too and the game is complete 50 minutes okay. let's just play it a bit so you can see that everything is working in you presume okay yes it's destroyed but for some reason okay um come on give me something easy yes it's destroyed six of scorts eight and um okay now i'm gonna destroy it i'm destroyed Oh, I forgot to, to add end game behavior, so it's it's really easy. So we just need to go to this object, or so game over, game over object. Where is it? Um, here it is. Play music, and music loop, and when this object is pressed or tapped, stop music. Okay. Okay, we're flying, we're flying, we're shooting, um, let's just... I'm destroyed by four points. Okay, let's play again. It's just to test. Uh, just to test everything is working. Okay, now I have five points. It's going to some work. Okay, 52 minutes. Okay, that's still good. So, the game is completed. Uh, it's already in the App Store. You can find the links below the video. If you have any questions or comments or, I don't know, any hate comments, just put them down below. I'll probably read them. And um, I also, uh, I also, you know, I give you the, uh, this game. Uh, I, I give you the, the game salad file, uh, uh, the link for this file is also below and I also archived, uh, you know, all the assets for the game, uh, all the images, so you can check uh, them as well. So just go in the description, uh, some, you know, good links there for the game, for game assets, for the game project file and etc. If you want to check out my other games, uh, go to my website manualgames.com and uh, thank you for watching i hope it was helpful for you and uh, see ya